Okay, so I'm going to show you how I applied my foil over my shellac. And this is the foil I'm going to be using. It's from Jenny Sells Foils on eBay UK. And I'll put a link to her shop in the description box. And it's an absolutely mesmerising foil when it catches the light. Really, really pretty. And what I like to do is prepare my foil. You don't have to do this. But this is just an extra measure that I do just to ensure adhesion. And I'm going to be using Scrub Fresh on a lint free pad. So if you're using gel polish, just use your cleanser that you use. And then just on the back of this foil, I'm just going to take the back of it off. So if you can see there, it goes from dull to shiny. And that just removes any debris or dust, like packaging dust that may be in there, or finger oils from where you've been handling it. So that's the foil prepped. Okay, so on my nail here, I've got two coats of CND shellac in black pool, and they're cured in between each one. So the tacky layer is still on the outside there. So I'm going to get my prepped foil, <clears throat> and all I'm going to do is place this on there. So I'm just going to give it a quick rub with my thumb and sometimes that's all it takes is a quick rub. Now if it's still stuck on there just take a little cotton pad and just give it a quick rub like this. And then just peel away gently and there's you've got your full coverage foils there now there wasn't a lot left if you do have any spots that you've missed I can't see any on there but all you would do is go in and press with another piece of the foil like so and that's it so all you do now is top coat that and then we're ready for stamping now just a quick tip if you're not using shellac and you're using normal uh, you know regular nail polish you can also attach the foil with foil adhesive which is this here and basically you paint it on and it goes a milky colour to start with and when it's totally dry and ready to use it goes clear so once the product is clear on your nails you just apply the foil as I showed you previously and you'll get exactly the same effect Right, for stamping with today, I'm going to try something that's new to me, it might not be new to you, and it's the Creative Shop Stamper, and it's this one that comes, so it comes in two separate parts like this, and the head is really, really squishy, and it's not like a marshmallow one, it's firm but squishy at the same time, I, I don't know how to explain it, but, and then that just sits in the holder like so and I'm really looking forward to trying this out so that's what I'm going to be using today um, I'm going to be using Barry M silver foil effects for my stamping and the plate I'm going to be using is the festive collection by Mo U London and it's number 17 and it's full of all these teeny tiny Christmas carols and I love like the angels, musical notes, teeny snowflakes and these sort of like baubles hanging down here and some Christmas lights at the bottom. So really looking forward to using that as well. Okay, I've quickly done one hand already. I don't know if you can see, they are, they are super, super cute and they stamp really, really well. So that says, oh Christmas tree on that one. That's on the third day of Christmas, that's the Noel one. Then on there I've just got Christmas carols and just like the little baubles on that one. And I just wanted to mention this scraper as well. It is super, super flexible. It's brilliant. So really happy with that. So let's get straight on to the stamping. So I'm going to start with my pinky first and start with the baubles, which is on the right hand side of the plate. So there they are. And I'm going to stamp straight down with this one. So I'm just going to push my finger into it 
And there you go. So then you get a straight line for the ball balls on there. Really nice. Okay, so the next one for my ring finger, I'm gonna do this oh Christmas tree one here. Right, now I don't want these parts on there, so I'm just gonna take those off. And then I'm gonna stamp down like that. And there you go, that is so sweet. I am going to add a little Christmas tree here, and the Christmas tree is going to be this one here, so you can see that. And there it is, and I'm going to stamp that. I'm just going to do this off camera so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so it's just part of the Christmas tree on the end there. Next one I'm going to do is from the 12 days of Christmas and that's on the third day of Christmas my true love sent to me. So I'm going to do that on my middle finger. Now I want some of the bits around it as well so it covers the whole nail. And there you go. And I want to stamp down this way again and just push it in like that. Index finger, gonna do this Noel down here. Really nice. And then finally, this Christmas Carol for the thumb. I've got quite big thumbnails, so this might not fit everyone's big thumb. And I'm gonna go backwards like that and just squash it. So squashy this one, it's brilliant for things like this. So there's the Christmas carols. So I'll top coat those and show you at the end. Okay, so here are the finished nails and they look really sweet. Those little Christmas carols are just so cute. Um, I hope you can see them. I will be putting pictures on so you can see them better. But they look really cool. And yeah, this is the last Stamping Fun Friday Christmas theme um, for the year 2014. So I'll be back in 2015 with some new ideas, etc. So stay tuned for that. And thank you so much for watching all my Stamping Fun Fridays and to all my subscribers and everything. So thank you ever so much and I'll see you in the new year. Bye.